Hello everyone, Snipe Trading here. Uh, today is Tuesday, March 5th. I'll be going on my recap for today. Um, I would like to thank of all the subscribers I've been getting lately. And it's been helping a lot. Um, so the first trade I did was DHR. So DHR, what got me interested was this 125 area um, on the daily. And it has this gap to the 123 and it has this lower gap here uh, during news. So, and then uh, yesterday I had this engulfing candle, um, which was pre which is pretty uh, bearish. So what I saw was um, I wanted to short pops uh, around this area um, for a short. So when I saw this kind of fell here uh, and then it retested, uh, retested here and fell, I got in short uh, with my risk of uh, either here or high of day. So it ended up uh, fading a little bit. Um, so I short there and then the end of fading, I uh, took took it off there and then when it popped back, uh, when it didn't go down here, it didn't break the lows here, uh, I kind of just took it off uh, because it was hitting low day, making a double bottom. Um, and then I retraded it in the afternoon here. Um, during this phase. So I was kind of disappointed because I kind of lost patience and, or actually, yeah, so it's actually this one. So I started some short here cause there was, a, there was this pattern um, for me. So uh, lower highs and then this uh, uh, ascend, descending triangle. So I started short with my wrist off of either VWAP or the previous high. And then I added more and then I just covered the rest. Um, and then I added short here um, or, or yeah, I covered the rest here. Then I re, re shorted here. And then my, with my wrist off VWAP, uh, I never hit VWAP. And then uh, I saw this kind of broke uh, a few times the 125.60 area um, and then it kind of popped back up here and I just kind of uh, took it off and that was that was a $117 winner but yeah just a few minutes later it went my way I I was trying to anticipate this move here but uh, I kind of lost patience and I just kind of took it off when it when it popped back up uh, it would have been you know a $200-$300 winner if it went uh, earlier, but uh, you can always you can always have all the trades. Um, some other trades, CCL. So I, what I saw here, um, there's so the daily kind of looks okay, but has a lot of uh, wicks resistance around the two dollar area. Uh, but there's this is a China play as well. Um, there's a lot of China stocks coming uh, up. Um, so what I saw here was this flag break, um, and this this was kind of a, a small chase, but it was kind of breaking high of day, so I, I went ahead and just start. Um, there was a big volume spike, but there's no follow through, so um, it ended up selling off when it fell to break 220, and I just kind of stopped out there, and good thing I did because it went down. Um, so that's the importance of stopping out. You don't want to get a uh, trap in here. And then yeah, there's no no real bounce for you to get out, right? So uh, I always stop out when it's not going the way you like. Like it could it could have done this, but this this big volume here and it got rejected. It's it's no, nah, it's always a no good. Um, other trade I did was DSS. So I actually was down uh, shorting. So I started, so this had a lot of traps, I noticed. Uh, let's see, I tried to play a lot of uh, one minute cup and handle and then it didn't it really went my way. So a little cup and handle here and then that little wick. So it was a, a short trap there and then I, I saw it was weak when it's breaking higher day. And then a little cup and handle again. 
and then another wick here for the tr uh, short trap and then I end up uh, so I, I, I added here uh, for this short and then I end up just stopping out and then it would it retested too and then it just got rejected really hard off high volume so um, so I actually took like a $50 loss there um, and then in this mo in the morning it was setting up an ABCD so higher lows um, and then I like this uh, trend here so I went ahead and took long with my wrist here but I ended up just stopping out there so that was my long trade down thirty dollars, um, and then uh, I saw like a lot of weakness because uh, two two is a really key area. So when you look at the daily chart, you can see it's top at twos here, and then um, so so yeah. So I started short here, and then I added, and then it broke broke this uh, it broke this uh, 183 area which got me interested um, and you could have added pops here but I didn't add um, so I shorted then I covered on the VWAP and then I just took it off there um, and then the last 15 minutes uh, it kind of faded some more it faded some more in the last 15 minutes and then after hours um, but yep, yeah, that's all the trade I had today. Um, it was an eighty-five dollar um, profit, but um, I'll take that. But those those a lot of uh, mistake that I did today, either going into early or not. Um, kind of a small chase, but uh, nonetheless, I I think what I did well was kind of stopping out um, and just taking the loss. Because you can see here, I yeah, my win. My win winning is kind of bigger than my loser. So you know, that's always a good thing to keep. Um, but um, okay, so thank you for watching. And as always, um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. Bye.